Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, the Schick sheet. And the Schick sheet, basically, it's a, a problem solving tool that we use to discover the issues, the problem, the errors, the defects. So what is a Schick sheet? The, the Schick sheet is a data recording device that is essentially a list of categories. So you have a sheet with uh, categories, category one, two, three, and four, or defect one, defect two, two, defect three, defect four. And you monitor the process. Whenever that particular defect happen, you do a check mark for that particular defects where you start building the number of errors or the number of occurrences. As an event, as events occur in these categories, a check or a mark is placed on the check sheet in the appropriate category. In essence, the user checks off occurrences. So what I want to do here, I want to share with you an example, a real example that we could use uh, uh, to apply what we've learned so far. What is the shake sheet? Okay, so what I want to do, I want to share with you this Excel sheet. Uh, and this Excel sheet is provided to you on D2L. Uh, if you are a student of mine, if you're not a student of mine and you don't have access to my D2L, you can email me and I will send it to you right away. So for this example, we have a medical clinic has four areas of, uh, for patients diagnostics. Area A, B, C, and D. At the end of month inspection, many errors are discovered in the invoicing process at the four diagnostic points. Create a check sheet diagram for the following data to investigate the type of errors on the invoices received through the four areas. We have six errors. Number one, error number one is transaction data is not mentioned. Error number two, supplier name is not mentioned. Error number three, supplier VAT number omitted. Error number four, invoice not signed by buyer. Error number five, invoice data not mentioned. Error number six, invoice number not mentioned. And we do have this error right here. As you see, it's a long list of errors that we have. So what we do, we are going to go one by one and check mark in the error. So, so for example, area number two, error number two in area D. So you go to defect number two, and that would be on area D, so this area. So you count them and you start marking these. So what I did, because this is a long list and I don't want you to waste much of time. It is unnecessary, it is needed. So what, what I did here, I copied all these errors and pasted them here on this sheet. And what I did, I sort them a to Z using Excel. And I start counting these errors. So error one in area B, we have three errors. So I went back to error one, error one, this is defect number one on area B. I did added three over there. And once I add that, so for example, I added that and the, the chart will be generated by itself. So you don't have to worry about the charts. However, I will be teaching you how to generate the chart if you don't have this template. So again, what I did, I went here, organized the data, sort them, and I go over one by one, count them. And once I count, so uh, error two in area B, that would be four. So I went to error two, defect number two, and that's area B, and I added four to that. And that will help me to generate uh, the chick sheet diagram. So I have the chick sheet, this is the chick sheet, and here's the diagram. And I did provide it two types of diagram. One is occurrences by area. So we could see that area D has the most occurrences of defect, 16. So that what we have to go, we have to go to area D and investigate what are the most uh, happening defects and these are suppliers supplier name is not mentioned supplier VAT number omitted so these are the issues so now we identify the issues and we see that this is coming from the supplier so the root cause of this issue is the supplier so I have to go to the supplier talk to them and say okay can you fix these issues 
All right, so also on the right side uh, here, you will see the uh, chick sheet diagram with a number of occurrences by defects. You will see that the most uh, severe defect would be number four, uh, defect number four, invoice not signed by buyer. So what we do here, um, so we need to maybe uh, go with the more details why this is happening. This could be uh, the, the, the process is electronic and, and there's no way to get the buyer to sign it uh, in person. So we still have to go into more details. It's not completely clear, but we have to uh, use a different tool, which is could be the YY diagram to investigate why is this problem happen and what is the root cause of this problem. So it is very helpful. It is very simple, but it is unique and you can use it to identify problems. So now the other thing that I want to say, if they, if you guys don't have this template, what would you do? Okay, well, you create a column. You create a column for the defects. So I have it right here. You have uh, another column for area one, uh, area A defects, area B defects, area C defects, and area D defects. And I have the total numbers, the total defects here. So what I want to do, I want to move this one to here and delete this. And now I'm going to select this and I go to insert and add a chart. So in this chart, what you see here, it's, uh, you will see all the data that you've selected. So maybe I'm not interested in showing the details. I wanna see the areas and the total of defects. So that what I wanna see. So this is defects by area. So I change the name, defects. by area. All right, next, what we do here is to, uh, if we need the defects by numbers, let's see if we could figure this out. So if I need to find out the defects by number, so I'm gonna go to insert and add uh, a chart here. And I'm gonna select the data on here, I want to add the defects. And on the right side, I wanted to uh, create the, okay, I'm going to cancel this for now. Bring it here, down here. Insert. Okay, I want this here. But however, I'm not interested in seeing all this detail. So I want to just the total. So I want to bring just the total, total defects by transaction. So that would be another way for doing it. As you see, that's uh, defect number four is the most uh, defects happening, the severe uh, defects in goal. Uh, area, area, uh, area D is the one that we have to focus and find out, investigate more the details. All right, with that said, I'm done with the uh, first tool, the check sheet, and I will see you in another video called the Pareto chart.